for more than 40 years, starting in December of 1968, I have been marrying same-sex couples. In 1970, I, with two women who I married, sued the state of California for the right of marriage. The judge laughed us out of court, dismissed it without even a hearing. But here we are tonight. I want to let you know something that I'm amazed as I look at this wonderful crowd of people who are here tonight. I want to tell you that 24 years ago, I met my husband, Philip Ray DeBleek, on July the 16th, 2005. We were married in Toronto, Canada. We flew back to Los Angeles, and I waited until I knew it was right. And then uh, he and I, with the previous speakers, uh, Robin Tyler and Diane Olson, we sued the state of California. We were the first two couples to do that in this state. Everybody else then sued along with us in the different cities, here, other places. And we thought last year in 1968 that we had won when the Supreme Court said that we had. And yet, here we are tonight. I want to tell you something. I believe with all of my heart, and I want to tell you tonight, that we, whatever we do, we cannot stop this struggle and this fight. Tomorrow, when the Supreme Court hears this on Proposition 8, what a hateful, hateful thing to do, to have so-called Christians from out of state come into California and spend millions of dollars to take our rights away from us. But tomorrow, we get our day in court again. And I want to tell you something to all of you who are gathered here tonight. I am approaching 70 years old, and I want to let you know something. I may not live to see it, but promise me tonight, you young people who are here, promise me you will march, you will demonstrate, you won't stop until we've won this battle. Thank you so much.